What's up guys, I'm TechSteve, making technology easier for you. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you a product that can clone your hard drive without a computer. Now why would you want to clone your hard drive? Well first of all, a lot of older computers come with this slow 5400 RPM hard drive and you might want to swap it out like a solid state drive. Now the reason you want to do that is solid state doesn't have moving parts so your performance on your computer can increase usually 10 to 20% just by swapping out that drive. But it's very complicated trying to move your files from one hard drive to the next. But with this duplicator, you can simply press one button and it would transfer all your files automatically. So if you're looking to duplicate your computer without the need of software, this may be the product for you. So sit back and relax and let's get started. So let me give you the scenario real quick of this video. I have a gateway computer that I've already updated to a 500 gigabyte SSD drive, and I'm gonna move all the files over to this by duplicating them. Now the files will remain on the hard drive, but I wanna see if it duplicates everything that's on there so we can kind of get an idea of how this unit works. But let's take a closer look at the duplicator real quick. On the front of it, we have a copy button, and look around the back, we have your USB 3, your power input, and your power switch. Now on the top of it, it will accept 2.5 inch disc, but if you flip this door open, you can see it can accept 3.5s. And it's very easy to insert your disc. You just drop one in here, snap it into place, and then you take the second one, slide it in there, snap it into place. So that's what we're gonna do today. Also with the USB cable, you can actually see all your files like an external enclosure, which is pretty cool. So if you're looking to just look at your files, you don't have to get that external power supply or USB cable, everything comes with it. And it does come with an instruction manual and a power brick to get everything up and running. So I know you guys don't own a computer like this, so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and get the hard drive out so we can start that cloning process. See how easy that was to get that hard drive uninstalled? Now a lot of people probably wonder why I use Apple computers on my videos. The main thing is my main computer that I edit with is Apple. So I can screenshot this and airdrop the file over to the other computer so I don't have to plug everything in. So that's the reason why, just in case you wondered. Now when you go to a solid state drive, you're gonna have to get this uh, adapter so it can fit the same size screw holes as the full size drive. So just take that in mind. Now let's open up the computer and see the files on both drives so we can see what's going to duplicate once it's done. Make sure this is powered off first and then you want to line this up and make sure they go into those SATA slots inside. So there we go, locked in really good. Now I'm going to press the power button and we can look at the files and you can see there's some light starting to glow right there. Now I'm noticing the regular hard drive is starting to spool up so that's another thing is that whenever you go to solid state, everything's quiet except for the fans in the computer. Now if you see this one, this is the blank one. So if you have files on the hard drive that you want to move to, just keep in mind that it's going to erase everything on there. And this is the one for Windows. So you can see how it did upgrade it to Windows 10, even though you might have seen a older sticker on the front of it. Now take a look at the program files. You can see there's all the applications. And here's the software. I did use a Cronius last time when I did the transfer, so I can see there's some files there. So this give you a kind of idea of what's on there. So let's go and start the duplication process. Now that I showed you the files, we're gonna duplicate the solid state information over to the full size hard drive. And then let's plug this hard drive into the computer and see if it boots up without any problems. So it took about 35 minutes for this process. Now let's take a look and see if it duplicated the files properly. Now the top drive here is actually the solid state drive. So let's just look at the program files real quick. And there is a reserve file here that they use on Windows computers for the boot. And I noticed on the duplicate it, it did not make that partition, but it still may boot up. We'll try that in just a minute. So let's go back on the program files. And it looks like it, it duplicated everything. 
So temporarily, what I'm going to do is go ahead and power down this computer and the duplicator. And then we're going to plug into the computer and I'm going to bring a monitor over. Now this is not going to look too fancy. So again, this is just to show you if it's duplicating the files and if you can boot up. So here's what it looks like. I have the Dell monitor plugged into the back here and there's the only hard drive that's installed. Let's go ahead and boot it up and see what happens. Now, I do notice putting this other hard drive back in here is a much, much slower boot up process. So that's why I like the SSD drive here. And there you go, there's Windows popped right up. Let me go ahead and log in. And there's Windows, pretty cool. Wow, this is so much slower. I'm telling you guys, you gotta update to SSD. Still loading. Look at that, a complete duplication. Now I'm not gonna go through everything, but overall everything seems to be working fine so far. The last few things about the Axiom Duplicator is that it will support up to 12 terabyte hard drives. So that's gonna support just about anything out there. And if you decide to buy something like this, make sure you put your main hard drive in A and the one you want to copy to in B. Otherwise, you're at risk of losing all your files, so we don't want that to happen to you. So if you're interested in it, it's only $35, and a lot of times it goes for less on sale. And I'll leave all those links in the comments below. Thanks a lot for watching. I'm Tech Steve, and I'll see you guys on my next video. Peace.